Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so what I tie you is the uh, six male pearl, as it's called. Now the hook and the vice is a Partridge Patriot double. Um, size eight. The thread that I'm going to use is the uni thread, 801 red, to tie the fly. So I'll just come in a couple of mil behind the, uh, the hook. And we'll just start our thread and remove the the waist tag of thread. Now I'm going to put a tag and a ribbon on the fly and make most of the dog and fly should a tie for anglers. It's going to be wire. So I'm just going to tie that in underneath and work on the thread down the shank of the hook just until I'm sort of way in line with the points of the hooks. Taking five turns of the silver wire, and then bring the last wire, uh, bring the wire in between the the two hooks. Now, just going to work my thread forward a couple of turns, and then bend and break away the wire, and just work my thread back down. Now, the tail on the fly, you're looking a red or golden pheasant tippet. Sorry, crest, fella. Dyed red. So, just get the fella. Oh, I just offered up to the hook, to the side of the hook. And then come around and with the first turn, that will bring it up onto the top of the hook. And then just put this in the length. Right. I want this to be roughly the length of the hook meaning from the eye to the bend so just have a wee check now as you can see when you start to tighten up let the twist don't be cutting it down here just that what I like to do is bring it forward but you can see the twist let the twist go into this part of the of the feather and then just keep working your thread forward, tying it in. Up to this point, come in, trim away the waist. Just keep on going. And then work your thread back, tied up against the tail. Now the tag at the back, you can use a glow bright floss number three. I'm going to use a glow bright floss number four. So I'm just going to take a length of this. Now because I'm not going to protect the tag with UV resin, I always leave that locking tag over the back and then I'll bring this forward. couple of turns, maybe three, four turns. And then I'm going to fold it back. And then bring my thread back up. And then we'll just come up with touching turns of the glue braid floss number four. Right, I have a friend that I know will work this back down that also faces this for sea trout in Scotland so works for the sea trout as well as the Dalkin. Now I'm just going to catch this in. Just open turns at this point to catch it in underneath. Just come in, clip away the waist. I'm going to work my thread to the front. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm just trying to keep the body as smooth as a con. Then I bring this over, catch that in two or three turns, fold it back, hold the turns over the top. Now you can see there we're folded it over. It just helps to it's it's not going to come away as in slip back <coughs> excuse me <coughs> because you have the 
wire tag but just with the, the teeth it'll just help to protect it a wee bit more just fine when you put on the uh, UV resin it doesn't sink into the, the thread so you could use super glue and in varnish but I'm happy enough with the way it is now the rib back to our silver wire it's the same piece of silver wire we use for the the tag and then work my thread down now the body there's two materials for the body the first one is so your first material on is the last up is the Vanyard's uh, Pearl Lurex so take a good length of this now if you're not going to use a rib you will have to protect the the Lurex because it's not the most robust material on the planet so we're just going to catch this in on top just put it in that length of body a couple of turns down over the back next we're looking blue holographic tinsel Right, just trying to find where I lost. There's a bit there actually. Just trying to find it on the spool where I lost cut, but we'll use this bit. Put that in the length and then just work your thread forward. You're just trying to keep the body as smooth as you can here. And just do your best. Just leave yourself a bit of room at the front. Then come up with your it's like a kingfisher blue colour this tinsel, but it's actually called aqua. Overlapping turns of the tinsel. Just slipped, so we're gonna go back. That happens. Just come back up. Just overlapping turns, nice and tight. Just trying to keep that body as smooth as you can. And then just come in a couple of turns, we'll catch that in. Trim away the waist, get rid of that. And come up with your pearl lurex. Right. I'm really going to overlap this, so I'm going to exaggerate a bit. The turns aren't being as weight, I'm not taking as way to turn with the Lurex because I want the, a nice pearl chain to come off this. That point there, I'll follow it around. A couple of tight turns, catch that in. Bring it out, trim it away. Then we'll come up with a rib. You're looking three or four turns, or more, depends on you. Many ribs, many turns of the rib, but you like to put on your flags. You tie it the way you like, and then good half a dozen turns to, of the thread to catch in the wire. We'll get rid of that. Now, the throat is in two parts, so this is some Kingfisher Blue. Hen favour, so just offer this up now. You can have this really short, so this is a this is where it becomes a personal preference in flight hen. I always like my throat sort of way to become back to the tag or past the, the the tag at the back. So I'm just going to pinch and loop four or five turns now. Have a wee check. Make sure you're you're straight, and then once you're happy, come in. Trim away the waist ends. All right, we'll just tie down over these and back up. Next, you're looking some natural guinea fowl. Do 
so two or three pinches of that. I want this roughly the same length. You can make it shorter if you want, it's up to you. And again, have a wee check on that as well. Make sure it's straight. And then come in. Trim away the cut ends. Or the waist ends, I should say. And then just tidy up. And back up. First part of the wing. I'm going to go back to our red. Golden fastened head here. Only this time we're looking for a tippet a tippet feather so just strip away the rubbish from the bottom straighten that hook up for you so you can see that right then just bring it all together offer this up and I want the black tips I mean in the first bar coming back to the tag Offered up on top, right with a pension loop. A couple of turns now. See what way it's sitting. So let's bring it round. Just have a wee check. Just make sure it's sitting straight on the shank. Catch that in. Come in. Turn away the cut ends of the feather and then tighten up down over the top of it. Nice and tight. Now most of the tan is on the wing in this fly. On top of that we're going to put in a very sparse bunch. This is grey squirrel tail. It's been dyed black. Clean out the ends. And you want this just a couple of mil longer on the tippet. Now you can add more fibre in the black if you, if you wish, it's up to you. I'm just dressing it how the how my friend wants it tied. He likes them sparse. So just tighten into that. Just have a wee check, just see what way you're sitting. That's good. Then just come in and trim away the waist. Right. I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread here. Because we've done an awful lot of tang at the front. So you want to make sure that everything's nice and tight. When you bring the the thread up over the top, and the wax will 100% help with that. Now I'm going to put a wee bit of flesh into this, and this is King Fisher Blue Micro Flesh. So I'm just going to catch that in, fold the the excess back. Don't worry about tidying up the head at the moment. Just the two strands is enough. Just moisten that. Leave it on my desk for the next one. And then we're going to come in. Throw in our whip finish. And then we're going to come in and tidy up the head. With some glow bright floss number three. Now you could use the glow bright floss number four that we use for the tag, but the number three is just really the the scarlet red to give it a bit more of a of a kick. Or you could just use the the red three. It's really up to you. I, I just want to show you the patterns. It's up to you how you want to to dress the fly. All right over the top and then just come in with your whip finishing tool and just put that shape that we all like to 
to see in the head of the fly. Feeling the glow bright floss nice and tight. Come on, trim away the glow bright floss and then just take away the, the waist tag. And that's the wee fly there, guys. The six male pearl. Right. What we're going to do is to seal up the head. First coat. Onto the head. We drop a super glue. And like I said before, this is where super glue does come in to its own because it really does seep into each turn of the floss and the thread that's underneath to seal that head up but you always must I believe varnish over the super glue I'm just cleaning away any excess that wants to run down onto the eye of the hook there, there, which is usually the end pinch points there just tidy it up and there you go guys so that's one that, that when I'm tying up I'm starting to fill a wee box as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video it's greatly appreciated um, if this is the first time watching one of my videos please consider subscribing it just really helps the wee channel to grow and until the next time be good be can't be good be careful and all being well I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.